YouTube. It is your favorite game here above Average Cody coming at you with the scoop on the latest Halo Infinite event. The latest hold you over until season three event, the Joint Fire event. This new 10 tier battle pass event, free event I may add, uh, started today. You have 13 days to complete it, so you have till January 31st to do so. Uh, I'm going to show you guys the cosmetics. I'm going to show you what to do to unlock the cosmetics, and then I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on this event as a whole. Now, first off, guys, let's talk about the challenges because they went back to the kind of dumb way to do it. Um, they are, in fact, forcing you to play the event mode. Yes, insert the sad emojis in the comment section. This is not an event where you can just play whatever you want and the challenges will progress through that mode. You literally have to play joint ops, which you can see, earn kills or assists in joint ops, kill enemy Spartans with a sidekick in joint ops, win rounds in joint ops. Ten rounds, actually. That's quite a bit, I feel like. But anyways, guys, your event challenges will obviously be marked by this little banner here next to them, and each challenge that you complete with the banner next to it will, of course, go towards the event pass, and each of um, challenge you complete will unlock one of your little event tiers. There's obviously 10 tiers, so you have to complete 10 event challenges, and again, you have 14 days total to do so. It's down to 13 days since the 14th day is in progress here. So that's an L. So what is the mode that you are being forced to play? Obviously, it is called Joint Ops, and it is literally just the bring back of the Covert One Flag, which is the mode that came out with the Winter Update, which is, you know, there's the single flag on the opposing end of, say, Argyle, the people attacking have, it says it right here, why am I even trying to say it off the top of my head? It's camo versus threat sensors. The defenders shoot the threat sensors to try to find the attackers that have camo, and then you just flip rounds each time. And of course, they did at least change something about the game mode. You can actually play it on pretty much any of the maps now. I believe when it came out, you could only play it on Argyle and Detachment. But now, as you can see in the map playlist, it is literally Covert One Flag. And you have all of these maps in the playlist. So yeah, you just go into Joint Ops, guys. Hit play. It'll toss you into a lobby. And that is how you can complete these challenges to unlock the cosmetics in the past, which we're going to go through one by one as quickly as possible. Now, Tier 1, guys, you get a little squad op, epic backdrop, kind of mid. I give that like a 1 out of 10. It's pretty much just a circle, nothing too special there. Next up, you get an epic visor, which is just orange basically really not too too special and guys of course this is more halo reach stuff i know i know it's been out over a year and we're still working on the halo reach stuff which is baffling but that's okay because there is some cool stuff at least here we got some knee pads not bad i mean i could care less about what my knee pads look like but some people are into it and these aren't too bad looking tier four guys you get a lovely little chest attachment looks very very clean on the Mark V armor there. And of course, guys, Tier 5, which is what I was rushing to, you get the JFO helmet. Dope helmet. I'm not going to say it's the best helmet, but it's pretty sick. I do really like this helmet. I'm glad to see that it got added, and uh, it is free, so anybody that gets on and plays, guys, all you have to do is five challenges. So literally, if you only want the helmet, you only have to do five of the challenges in Join Ops, which is pretty easy to unlock the JFO helmet. Very nice for the uh, Mark 5B armor there. Next up, you get a rare armor coating, the Violet Crush. Not too bad. Could be a little bit flashier, in my opinion. They really do give the most stale armor coatings, generally, in these. That is not your Xbox app. It is mine. Next up, guys, another visor. Lime green visor. Pretty nice. I don't hate it. Um, would look, look great on the... Um, on the optic skin to be honest next up we have some shoulder pads kind of mid i don't like the ones that protrude up like that it's kind of strange obviously they make you get two separate tiers to unlock each shoulder pad uh you do get the left one and then the right one and then finally of course a helmet attachment for the jfo helmet not too bad it it is what it is i i there's only so much i can say because it's literally just a 10 tier cosmetic pass guys um, which I think is a perfect time to transition into how I feel about this event. It's, it's pretty much just a gimme event, guys. The players that are already playing the game, that are playing it every day like me, they're going to get in, do a couple joint ops. Okay, cool, yippee, let's get it done. Okay, back to ranked. Um, 
I kind of hate that they forced us to go play the joint ops, the covert one flag, because I am not intrigued by the mode at all. And I'm going to have to play it now to unlock all of the cosmetics because I may as well. It's a free 10 tier pass, but it's nothing special. It's nothing that's going to get players back to the game. Again, if you're not playing Halo and you're watching this video to see if it's worth coming to get, um, I, I think it's worth it for the helmet. It's worth it to get in and do the challenges. Um, but other than that, if you could care less about the helmet and any of these other cosmetics, I really wouldn't even bother. And I even get quite excited for these events because I, I'll take whatever I can get. I love these little events. But I don't like being forced and funneled into a game mode that I don't really want to play being joint ops because, I mean, it, it's just, it, it's kind of a cool mode. Don't get me wrong. It's a fun party mode. But man, I get on and I just grind ranked on this game and I don't have hours upon hours to play it even though it may seem that way on stream. Um, so I really don't want to sink most of my Halo Infinite time into grinding these challenges, which seem kind of tedious but not too bad, I guess. They're kind of middle ground, win 10 rounds. Um, I'm sure there's probably five or six in a game. Earn cumulative score, 3,000. Kill enemy Spartans with a sidekick, three. Kills or assist, 10. Pretty basic, but again, I just don't like being funneled in the mode. Um, cool helmet, but overall, I think this event's an L. It gets like a 6 out of 10 in my book. Like I said, I'm not pumped to go play it. It only gets above a 5 because the helmet's pretty nice, and I will be unlocking it. Whether or not I run it in multiplayer, though, uh, I don't know. I just think I have cooler stuff to run. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much everything you have to know about the event. Some other tidbits. Um, supposedly there was a bug where the final tier would not unlock. I know, go figure. Um, but they did fix it since then. And there was also a problem with Empyrean free-for-all spawns being broken. And they took it out of free-for-all altogether. Which, I, what were they even adjusting to break it? And like free-for-all I don't even see on the map list. So I believe you can only get it in Rumble Pit. So I have no idea how adding a 10-tier limited time event that you get broken spawns for free for all on empyrean but that's that's the scoop guys that's the things i'm reading about the event other than that let me know in the comments guys do you like the helmet are you eager to get in there and get that jfo helmet it is a dope helmet don't get me wrong but i'm just kind of indifferent to it i'll keep playing ranked and i'll grind this as i have time in the next 13 days but already guys subscribe to the channel Tons of Halo Infinite content. Uh, mainly, we stream ranked five days a week. Tons of tips and tricks videos. Um, I just like to update you guys on what is going on event-wise because I know there's plenty of people on the channel that have probably stepped away from Halo. And I don't completely blame you, so I'm just keeping you guys in the loop with what's going on. So hit that sub button, guys. Leave a like on the video. I already mentioned, leave me a comment. Let me know your thoughts on the Joint Fire event. And uh, other than that, guys, channel membership, super thanks. If you like support monetarily, it does help out ever so, so much. But please do not feel like you have to. But already, guys, that does it for me. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay tuned for the next video.